very interesting and important topic to address and I, th I really enjoyed the technique, the camera technique they chose to go along this lady or this woman and how they explore the different outlets that young people or anyway in that sense anyone in that sense um, used to overcome their pain or hide it or try to disguise it somehow so everyone else thinks we are okay. It was a great this job. This one was definitely that. Um, they did a lot with very little here and I really admire that. Um, there's a lot of emotion behind everything. You, you definitely, you can sympathize with this character right away. So I thought it was a really creative, uh, quick little short that's uh, worth checking out. I really, really liked this. I thought that the use of the music kind of being the baseline for her was really interesting. And it really like goes to show how much music can like be the thing that kind of keeps somebody together and keeps them distracted or like people use this as an escape, but also just like as something that they kind of use to pull themselves together and how you it really you know it's another way to show that you never know what is going on behind closed doors and that i really liked that they mirrored the mom telling the daughter like oh i'm okay i'm gonna be okay and then the daughter kind of turning around and not just telling that to the neighbor but also that she married she mirrored that behavior of like i'm okay to the parents as well like she went into the bathroom and broke down when she was alone but by the time she came back out again she was totally fine and like hadn't pulled it completely together and how it really goes to show you like in addition to like you don't always know what's going on in somebody else's house but also like people do mirror what they see especially kids and i thought that that was like a really interesting um thing that was kind of subtly put in there and i really i really liked uh, i really liked the give and take in the beginning frame with the slow motion versus uh fast forward flask swigs very um i don't know if that's stop animation or stop motion but um it's what it kind of reminded me of that really uh jagged movement the perspective was very adolescent, um, like a selfie stick video, uh, maybe. And then the song choice was useful as well. Um, although she was dealing with some dark stuff in the background, uh, it was still like from the perspective of um, just like your average teenager who might be dealing with things at home. Um, and then Q2 when her parents are literally fighting in the background and um, thinking no wonder she's a day drinker. I really liked the camera angle perspective for OK um, and how the character was using her headphones and, and how that was a key part in telling the story. And then the ending just fits so well um, with the narrative that was built up with the music. My first thought after watching the film was, damn, that girl is not OK. Um, I really enjoyed the camera, camera perspective of following her around from the moment she wakes up to going through her morning and all of the things that she's feeling and experiencing. Um, it really felt like we were in her head and we, we were there with her and watching everything in real time it felt very intimate. Um, and the camera style, it almost felt like vlog style, except she wasn't the one holding the camera. It was really different. I felt, I think it was really effective um, in terms of seeing things from her, her perspective. And I really felt like I understood her. Um, you know, she feels invisible and isolated and unheard. And she's also trying to be strong for her mother at the same time. And she's just trying to cope and get through her day. And, you know, some of the ways that she copes is by drinking and then putting in her headphones. And, you know, I think it would be really easy for somebody to dismiss a, a child like that and be like, oh, you know, they're a bad egg. You know, they're going to get you in trouble. They're not a good influence and all that. But really, it's just this mask that she feels like she has to wear because she can't actually say or feel the things that she wants to. And yeah, I mean, I think that we've all either been that person or seen that person and not really had the full story. And this kind of gives us a little insight into somebody else's life and the things that they might be going through. I really like the uh, pacing of this piece. 
I felt like the glitchy jump cuts really worked to keep the film interesting. And although the setting was kind of uh, similar throughout the piece, I didn't feel bored watching it because of kind of this jumpy um, action that was always happening on screen that um, kept my eyes glued. So I really like that part of the piece and I think it just really portrayed an unfortunate situation that um, teens or, or children growing up go through in a really creative way. Um, and it just kind of showcased, I think, the chaotic and uncertainty of uh, someone going through something like that. Personally, some aspects of my childhood were similar to uh, the girl portrayed in the film. And I just feel like it kind of captured um, just the situation really well in how, you know, it is hard to cope. And it always seems like something's happening behind your back or um, in the next room that you can't escape. And so I thought this film uh, did a really good job of portraying that. So good job. This movie was so um, groundbreaking. Her, this little girl has her earbuds in, her parents are fighting. There's this fast motion sort of direction that's really done so well. I just, I felt her angst. Like I felt her teenage angst. It was so good. Like this movie was like fast and just, the music and the moment and she was such a cool actress and just everything about this movie was like uh innovative and it was um ah uh, just something new and something good and the fast motion and just her locking out the world and then with her earbuds it was just so Heartfelt. It was really, really good. You guys seriously did a breakthrough film, I think.